Welcome to CFAM at Home. For today's lesson, we will be making paper meditation beads inspired by the work, I Don't Belong to You, You Don't Belong to Me, by the artist Jeffrey Gibson from our collection. For this project, you'll need some decorative paper, scissors, a ruler, stretch magic or another monofilament for making the bracelets, a pencil, a glue stick, a q-tip, some seed beads or other small beads, and some clear fingernail polish. Before we get started, let's take a closer look at our chosen artwork and the ideas behind its inspiration. Jeffrey Gibson's art combines materials and symbols about personal and cultural identity. He is an American of Choctaw and Cherokee heritage who grew up in Germany and Korea. He worked within traditional mediums of paint on canvas for many years before switching over to art methods that use the traditional materials and patterns of his native heritage. Growing up outside his own culture has played a large role in the concepts behind Gibson's art and caused him to face feelings of anger over not belonging. In I Don't Belong to You, You Don't Belong to Me, Gibson combines the idea of what being Native American means to him. He includes words from the lyrics of George Michael's Freedom 90, a song about finding one's voice while rejecting the judgments of others. The work is a diptych, or an artwork made up of two objects that are a pair, woven into a geometric triangle pattern similar to those found on the textiles of indigenous peoples of the Great Plains. The entire piece is made out of the same type of glass crow beads used in powwow regalia. The sides are trimmed with the silver jingles found on ceremonial jingle dresses used in dances that promote healing. The pointed silver cones are traditionally made out of the lids of tobacco and snuff containers. Gibson chooses materials based on his ideas of empowerment and the celebration of diversity. His art and practice serves as a reminder not to change yourself to fit the world around you. During today's craft, we will be making paper beads that can be used to make jewelry, wall decorations, or any other object you want. In his art, Gibson uses his materials to overcome difficult issues that cause him anger and anxiety. Think about any struggles or changes you have gone through over the past year. How did they make you feel? What did they make you learn about yourself? Write them in your beads and roll them up to take away their power to cause you unhappiness. You may also write down words or song lyrics that inspire you to feel happy and strong in the coming year. Cut a long rectangle out of your colorful paper. Take your ruler and draw alternating triangle shapes on your piece of paper. Cut out your triangles. These will be your personal badges. Take a pencil, pen, or any other writing instrument and write your reflections on your triangles. You can fill up as many as you'd like. Take your glue stick and cover half of your bead with glue. Using your Q-tip, place the stick along the edge of the widest part of your triangle and roll it into a bead, pressing firmly while you roll. Take your clear nail polish, holding the bead on the ends where the holes are, and coat it in polish. Set aside to dry for at least 30 minutes. When your beads are dry, string them onto the stretch cord. You may add decorative beads between your paper ones for added embellishment. Once your piece is the size you want, tie off the stretch cord with two small tight knots and tuck the knot inside one of the paper beads. 